Hey, welcome back. Jeff Frick here with theCUBE. We're at San Francisco International, actually at gate 54B, if you're trying to track us down. It's the Alaska Airlines Improved Flight Experience kind of launch event. A lot of vendors here, they've, they're rebranding uh, their planes, they've rebranded all the Virgin uh, Airbus planes, and they've taken that opportunity to add a lot of new innovation. So we're excited to be here, talk to some of the people participating, and our first guest, it's Renee Donkworth. He is the General Manager of Aircraft Seating Americas for Recaro. Renee, great to see you. Thank you, great to be here. So I think a lot of people are familiar with Recaro seats. We think of them for as, as, as racing seats or you know upgrading our cars when we were kids. Everybody wanted a Recaro seat. I had no idea you guys played such a major role in, in aviation. Absolutely, and uh, we are since the early 70s already in the aircraft seating business and uh, really a major major player, global player in this business. And uh, you know, it's a, it's a very long-term experience and uh, people are often flying and they're sitting on an aircraft and uh, to be comfortable on traveling is very important and that's our mission. Right, it's funny because people probably usually don't think of the seat specifically until they're uncomfortable or you know they're in it but you got a lot of technology and a lot of innovation in the past but also some of these new seats that you're showing here today right so we are showing uh, the seat for for first class here that we have displayed for Alaska Airlines and we developed together in a very intensive process a lot of things on the seat here um, we have a memory foam cushion with a netting uh, a six-way headrest which overall comes to a very comfortable seating experience for the passenger and that's really one step ahead uh, of, of other products and uh, we went through a very intensive process with Alaska and we are proud to present it and uh, to see the rollout now because it's exciting yeah? right. if you worked all the time on uh, such a project to see it flying now. So there's a couple of uh, components of the seat right there's the obviously the safety and it's got to stay bolted on but you've got kind of this limited ergonomic space in terms of what the pitch is from one seat to the other. What are some of the unique challenges there and what are some of the things that you guys have done to operate you know, in kind of a restrained space? Of course, it's always to, to optimize everything yeah, with the given conditions that you have. Uh, but really looking into the small details, yeah, uh, reduce pressure points uh, in, in, on, on the body. Um, we are using kind of pressure mapping methods to develop that together with the, the customer, looking into um, a cushy experience uh, for the passenger, optimizing it so that you have really kinds of luxury feeling on the on the seat. Right. Um, but in addition, it's also important to look into solutions like um, content. How is the content provided, and what kind of tablet integration is is there? So we have very smart solutions there. Uh, that we're showing today with the right viewing angles. Um, there's uh, the right power, there's the high, high power USB, uh, which supports the power. So the overall package needs to be optimized. Right. And that's what we and are that's working. what I was going to go next, is, is when you're sitting there for two hours, five hours, 10 hours, now we're talking about 20 hour flights, right? Some of these crazy ones. People are doing things in their seat, right? They're not just sitting, and as you said, they want power, they want connectivity, they want to watch their movie on their lap, or their tablet or their phone. So you guys have really incorporated kind of that next-gen entertainment experience into this new seat. Right. So as I, as I explained, there's a lot about uh, tablet integration, not only for the first class as well, uh, also for the, for the economy class that uh, you can see today that you can experience. Um, but there's also a lot about storage in total. You know, storage is always a big topic. Uh, where do you store your belongings? Right. And there you will also see here smart solutions um, lots of storage options. Uh, for example, also on the coach class seat, you can um, use the tablet, you have the right viewing angle. In addition, you can uh, fold or unfold the table, you can use the storages, so everything is really optimized in the details. And this is a huge kind of change in, in, in thought process when you think of the entertainment world, right? Where it used to be you had a projector TV, and then they put individual seat screens, but the airlines woke up and figured out everyone's already packing their screen of choice, so how do we support that? experience versus putting our own screen on that seat. Yeah, that's that's where we are going and if you look into today's um, passengers, almost everybody has his own tablet uh, or iPhone or whatever with him. So it's important to, to be able to stow everything, uh, to connect every kinds of device, to have the power 
Um, but I think then, then the content is really important to be provided. Um, the integrated solutions are not so important anymore. Right. Well, Renee, uh, congratulations and uh, enjoy the flight and seeing all your hard work up in the air. Thank you very much. <laughs> all right. He's Renee, I'm Jeff. We're at San Francisco International Gate 54B at the Alaska Airlines Elevated Flight Experience. Thanks for watching.